Good day viewers, thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem. We are finding the positive integer solution and uh, we are finding the value of x plus y. Given x plus xy plus y equals to 76. Now we have x plus xy plus y equals to 76. Now the approach we are using here is Let's separate this one. Something is common between you know these two terms. And when we look into that, we have from here x is common. We bring it out. We have x into bracket. We have one left, then plus y. So this is what we have here. Then we can try to you know we have plus y here now. Then we can try to get something of the form. 1 plus y which is the same thing as y plus 1 so when we add one here now we must also add the one to the other side so we have added one on this side then we should add the one on that side the purpose of that is that we are looking for a term like this which is y plus 1 also we have y plus 1 now so therefore we can also bring you know y plus 1 and uh, when we bring y plus 1 out we then have yeah what is left is x and what is here is 1 that's plus 1 which is equals to 77 here so we have this one here now equals to 77 two number multiply don't forget our x and y are both positive integers so we are dealing with positive integers here it means that our y is taking its value from 1 and above. So y is greater than or equal to 1. And our x as well is greater than or equal to 1. That means everything in this bracket here will be greater than or equal to 2. So that is the least value we can have. Similarly here, what we have here, f. Our value here will be greater than or equal to 2 as well. Why? Because we are looking for the you know, positive integers here. Then now, the possible factors of uh, 77 that we have, we have 1 times 77. We have 77 times 1. We also have 11 times 7. And we have 7 times 11. Now, from here, we decide which, you know, factors can work here. Now, since we know that each of these values here should be greater than or equal to 2, it means that here that we have 1, this one will not work because, you know, one of them has to be 1 like that. So, this one will not work because what we have should be greater than or equal to 2. Also, similarly here, this is 1. So, this 2 will not work. And these two numbers here, they are both greater than or equal to 2. So this will work, this will work. Now, for the first case, for case 1, we have, we have two cases here. For case 1 now, we can take the first, you know, thing. That is, the first number here, 11 times 7. So we equate y plus 1 equals to 11. And also we have x plus 1 will be equal to 7. So we have this two now for the first case. And for the second case, we can say that we equate it to the second one, which is y plus 1 will be equal to 7. And also x plus 1 will be equal to 11. Now from these two, you know, cases, we can get the value of our x x plus y. Remember we are finding the value of x plus y. And from there, from this first one here, we can find the value of our y and the value of our x. Then we add it together. You can clearly see from here that here we can get our y just by taking this plus 1 to this side. We have that from here. Our y will be equal to, you know, we have this. So from here, our y will be equal to 10. And our x 
will be equals to take one here that's seven minus one that's six so we have y equals to ten and the s equals to six which indicates that our x plus y will now be equals to ten plus you know six which will give us sixteen so we have this as the value of our x plus you know y in this case and for this case as well we can as well find the value of y here by taking plus one to this side then that will give us y equals to 7 minus 1 which is 6 and here as well taking 1 to this place we have x equals to 11 minus 1 which is what 10 so similarly our x plus y in this case is also 10 plus 6 which will give us 16 so for both cases we get the value of x plus y to be 16 so we can see therefore the value of x plus y for this particular question is a uh, 16 and we have come to the end of the solution we say thank you for joining us don't forget subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now